Higher Learning is a show about adults learning and interesting facts while under the influence of marijuana. This show is filmed in Vermont where it is legal to smoke. The staff involved in the show want to be clear that we do not support its use by those too young or where it is illegal to partake in such behavior. While this show doesn't show the usage of drugs or use coarse language, it is not intended for children. Parental discretion is advised. Now, let's get to the burning and learning. Welcome to Higher Learning, a class in disjointed education, the show where my son comes in every other week, high off of uh, edibles. Yes. We live, just, I haven't said this in a little bit, we live in uh, an area where it's legal. Yes. Film in an area that's legal, it's in Vermont. Um, and then a week later, he comes in sober, that's the case today, and I quiz him on... The stuff he taught me. The last stuff week. I taught you, yeah, taught him the week before. Uh, I teach him twenty five facts. Quiz him on those facts to see if he's. Like, like I always that say, almost sounds fair. Yeah, you'd think. Sure, because uh, we, we want to find out is if he's going to puff puff pass or puff puff fail. Usually, it's the second. Anyway, last week I taught you twenty five facts about candy, and it's the second time I did that because a year ago. When we were was also first Halloween. starting off, we did that for one of the Halloween things. Um, let's see. The man who invented the Lizzie Bar and Johnny Bar named them after his daughter and son. But what creation named after himself was his real hit? Reese's. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Ding. Um, Leo Hirschfield, the inventor of Brahma... Gelin jelly powder, a gelatin dessert that was before Jello, yep. also invented which of these candies? Was it Tootsie Rolls, Charleston Chews, or Mike and Ike's? Tootsie Rolls. It was. In 1897, confectioner John C. Wharton partnered with William Morrison to create cotton candy. What was Morrison's profession? So one was a confectioner, the other guy was a Ooh. The guys who created cotton candy. Mm-hmm. One was a confectioner. Right. Which makes sense. The other one. Construction worker. Dentist. Dentist. Ah, that makes just as much sense. I mean, he wanted more business. Uh Milky Way was meant to mimic the taste of which item that was popular in the 1920s the milky way yeah milky way bars were supposed to taste like this popular thing i can't think of it um brownies i know it's malted not. Milk. oh that's the one uh, Forrest Mars and Bruce Murray developed and financed what famous candy? The Mars bar? No. Wait, what? who'd you say? Forrest Mars and Bruce Murray. Oh, that doesn't help. Okay. M&M's. Oh. <laughs> so it should have helped. Um, which candy was invented when creator Clarence Crane saw machines making pills that were round and flat? Pez? No. Lifesavers. Round. Oh, round. And, yeah. Um, which candy comes from the German word for peppermint? York? Pez. Oh, Pez? <laughs> yeah. That's peppermint? No, but the, the word okay, Pez Okay, well, they named from, it something stupid then. Except their first flavor was probably peppermint, so... Which no. is also stupid. Leave it to the freaking rounds, all right? True or false... Dunkin' Donuts collaborated with Hershey to make coffee flavors. False. True. What? The Almond Joy, that's a Hershey product. Oh, I didn't know Heath that. Bar was, okay. Yeah. Like, according to the American Chemical Society, eating six, or sorry, eating 262 fun-sized Halloween candy bars would do what to a 180-pound person? Kill. Poison, but yes. Okay. Um, I'll give you that. Bonus. Why can't you eat that many in one sitting? Because your stomach wouldn't be able to hold it? Like you'd explode or something? I don't no, know. No, you would throw up. You'd throw up? Yes. Why would you throw up? 
because your body couldn't handle it and you would throw up. But you wouldn't die. What part of your body wouldn't be able to handle it? Your stomach. So your whatever. Your body okay. would overload and make you vomit. Um, but that was a bonus point anyway. So you got the one for that. Uh, what is between the wafers of a Kit Kat bar? Uh, like ground up Kit Kat? Yes. Recycled Kit Kats made into a paste. A lot of people thought it was chocolate. There's chocolate in it, but no. It's also wafer. Right. Um, what candy is amongst the most popular candy requests for astronauts on space missions? Think of candies that would make sense for an astronaut because of, you probably don't want something long and gooey. And, right, you know, right. So, Tootsie Rolls? No, M&M's. Okay. Because um, they're less messy. True or false, U.S. soldiers in the Korean War used chewed up bubble gum to patch holes in their vehicle's fuel lines. False. False. It was actually Tootsie Rolls. Yeah, okay. I knew Tootsie Rolls was in here somewhere. Right. Don't try to guess. I know he talked about a different candy. Like, try to answer each individual. In 2009... Which candy bar debuted a version containing 80 milligrams of caffeine? The same as a Red Bull. Right. I don't remember what it was now. Hershey? Butterfinger. They called it the That's Butterfinger Buzz. Yeah. Um, junior Mints were named after what? Guy with the same name? No. Junior Mints? I don't no. know. There was a Broadway show called Junior Miss. Oh, okay. Uh, every day, 64 million of which bite-sized candies are made? M&M's, Swedish Fish, or Tootsie Rolls? How many? Uh, 64 million per day. M&M's. No, it's actually Tootsie Rolls. Okay. Well... That sounds like an awful lot of Tootsie Rolls, but... It's an awful lot of any of them. I mean, it's way less M&M's. Wouldn't you think? No, it's actually the same amount. I mean, like... No, it's that's like saying same. a pound of feathers and a pound of bricks. Guess what? They weigh the same. You know why? Sure, but like nope. a pound of Reese's Cups and a pound of M&M's, you're not going to have the same amount of M&M's. You're going to have many more. Right, but you're still going to have a pound. Okay, but it's, it's less. No. You get less. No. How did... Now, if you say chicken breast versus chicken wings, I would agree because you're not eating the bones, so that figures in. But no. Anyway, how did Hans Regal come up with the name of his company, Haribo? Oh, uh, his the first two letters of his name, first two letters of like his partner's name and his kid's no. name? No. You're close. First two letters of his first name, his last name, and his hometown. Oh. Which was Bonn, Germany. Germany. So it's Harry. Ha from Hans, Rye from Regal, and Bo from Bonn, Germany. All right. So I'm going to give you a half a point for that one, though, because, no, because you got the, he took a couple letters from things. You just forgot. What those one. were from. But I'll still give you that part. Sure. Um. True or false? Dots, gumdrops, are gluten-free and vegan. True. It is true. Um, why were Three Musketeers originally named that? Because they were Neapolitan. There were three flavors. Yeah, they were three little bars, chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. So, yes. For those people that are stoned watching this and don't know what Neapolitan means. If you're, whatever. You know Neapolitan's how many people call food. it Napoleon? Napoleon? Be yes. It is one of the because most... Because it's small? It, it's right up there with thinking Jimi Hendrix is talking about kissing dudes. Like it's miss... Maybe it was. I don't know. <laughs> Colin's like, yeah. <laughs> um, customers in the UK can buy jars of which candy bar to spread? Oh, Twix? It is Twix. Yeah. Very good. I didn't even give you options and you're like on it. Uh, an open bag of candy corn can last how long before going bad? At least how long? Seven months? Close. Six. Okay. 
I would say it can last for years because I've found like old be, candy old corn stashes and it of candy. candy corn, it didn't taste different. It, it's sugar wax. Like, it, like it goes bad because it didn't, don't though. eat it still. Um, I don't. It, it goes bad when you eat them because it's a bad taste sensation. Eh, they're but, fine. Eh. Which cereal company helped finance Willy Wonka, Wonka and the Chocolate Factory movie? And then began making candy under the name Wonka. Was it General Mills, Quaker Oats, or Post? General Mills. It was not. It was what? actually Quaker Oats. You're a dink. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> True or false? Saltwater taffy isn't salty, watery, or made with salt water. R- correct. True. Yes. Right. Um, which candy jingle? is known to be one of the most common earworms, according to research. I I don't remember what it was because it's not one I had ever heard. He's full of crap. No, I remember it, saying this last week when you taught me it. I was like, oh, I didn't know that they had a song for that. Kit Kat. Break me off a piece of that. Kit Kat bar. Give me a break. Give me a... You've heard that. Oh, okay. You've definitely heard... There's no way you're 22 and you haven't heard that. I thought they made that up for the chance thing. No. The Chance the Rapper thing where he was yes. the rapper on Kit. You're an idiot. Whatever. I love my son, but he's not that smart. Do you notice? Which candy bar got his name from a public contest? Was it Butterfinger, Baby Ruth, or whatchamacallit? Baby Ruth? No, Butterfinger. Okay. And a sake flavored version of Kit Kat is available in which country? Japan. Correct. Okay, so you got 10 full points, so that's 40, because each one's worth four, and then, so so 42, because you got a half. So he's got 42, which means he's puff puff failed. Tune in next time when I teach him 25 more facts, and hopefully he can do better and not puff puff fail, but puff puff pass. Ha. See you next time.